Good day, it's Alistair Curry here from Infrastructure News, 3S Media, talking to Tim Bacosi and Zamande, SEFSEC President, about some of the key issues facing the South African construction industry. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, we were talking earlier about the, and during your speech, you were talking about the importance of private sector investment in infrastructure. Could you expand on that for our yes. viewers? Yes, I think um, the reality is, as we try and develop the country, we have massive infrastructure ambitions, yes. and massive infrastructure uh, constraint on the economy. And the reality is, the public purse is not enough to be able to deliver all the infrastructure. Yes. Now, the opportunity lies in the fact that there's a private sector which has the balance sheets, but under the right conditions, those balance sheets can be leveraged into public infrastructure. And I think there's very little of private sector investment that's going into public infrastructure. And I think that's about packaging projects with the correct commercial architecture to balance return on investment, but also public value for money. Yes. And I think those two objectives can be balanced contractually so that private money is with certainty to be able to come in more strongly into the public sector project. There is this concern about investment security. I know some of the external banks have even been investigating public utilities and saying, let's look at efficiency first before we start investing. In other words, let's see what you have now and see what you can fix. Yeah. So what does SAPSEX view on that? Because we're talking about this tremendous loss of water, for example, in infrastructure. Yes. Where does the investment lie and where does the maintenance lie in terms of the equation? Well, I think that is where See, SEFSEC is fundamentally a contractor, yeah. so the beauty of it is that we come in at a project level, so right. we wouldn't necessarily be funding an institution itself, but we're funding a project. Right. And that actually makes it a much more controllable environment. Okay. Where we co-develop a project, say with a water utility, to build and operate a treatment plant, then the maintenance and operations is inbuilt because the private contractor takes over that responsibility. It's sort of the same way as how the N3 toll road concessions have run, and those have run very successfully, of course. And so I think as contractors, we are yearning to get involved at a project level where a project is ring-fenced. Uh, therefore, there's greater flexibility, but also greater collaboration between the main client and the contract itself, because the contractor gets involved on the life of the project versus build it and walk away. Okay, excellent, thank you. Any any words in summary about um, the way forward into 27 for these developments? I think, yeah, this industry is probably at a, at a critical point of change. We've announced certain um, groundbreaking announcements around the VRP, around the new charter. And so I think 2017 will be about making concrete the step towards permanent uh, transformation in the sector. I'm very encouraged by some of the commitments that have been made by our members as subset to take leadership in terms of transforming this industry. So I think 2017 is going to be a very exciting year because I think the architecture and face of the industry is going to change fundamentally. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.